This is Twit. We all are probably working remotely now, right? Um, everyone's doing social distancing. They're doing uh, quarantine in place. And I think a lot of business organizations, uh, gig economy, all of these are working remotely and they need ways to do that. Um, and in fact, they need ways to not only do work, but also learn as well. I mean, not only if you have kids or if yourself want to do distance learning, you need some kind of tool, whether it's collaboration, video conferencing, or just distance learning in some way. Now, I'll tell you one thing. Um, global gatherings are basically on a shutdown. In fact, we've seen Mobile World Congress shut, shut, shut down. We've seen uh, Facebook F8, the Adobe Summit. Um, a lot of conferences are shutting down. So how can you actually do these things remotely? So I want to get into some of these tools, and I'm going to actually share this with my coworkers because there's a ton of great tools, um, and there's a lot of options here. And I want to get some commentary on what they think about uh, how useful they are. Now, I'm going to start with a very simple one, and people don't necessarily talk about this one that often, which I don't know why. Now, it is from my company, Microsoft, but I'll tell you it's an oldie but goodie. Um, it's Skype. Now, Skype is a free option. Um, it also has group video up to 50 people. People for, actually forget this. Not only that, it can you can allow to share your screen and do other things. Um, and so if you need to do conferencing, if you're a small business or if you're a medium-sized business that don't necessarily have a video conferencing option, this might actually work for you. Um, and not only that, it works on every one of your devices. It actually works on Linux. Um, and plus, there's some interesting topics you can do here. Like you can blur out your backgrounds. You can do stuff like that so you don't have the kids running around. Um, and a lot of people already have it. Um, it's pretty much one of the most used uh, video conferencing apps around the world. And so I think it's definitely useful. Now, I have an interesting tip here that you might want to try out. Um, if you have an Xbox or if you have a, a, a Windows device of some kind, you can plug actually a webcam into your Xbox. You don't need a connect or anything like that. And you can install the Skype app on the Xbox and you can literally connect from the Xbox, put it up on the screen if you want to share it uh, to yourself and be able to see the big screen and also just use the normal webcam along the way. You can use it just like a conference call um, and you can also call in again up to 50 people there. So I would say it's definitely a good option for you. Um, and it will help you not only do that, but you can do learning as well. I know a lot of kids uh, and, you know, people like adults like are actually using this to do lessons, whether it's uh, music lessons or it's, um, you know, remote learning. Um, uh, you know, a lot of them are using this option because, of course, it works on all devices uh, comparably to some of the other tools that are out there today. Um, so that's the number one option. Um, uh, Gbert, I want to throw over to next to you for the next one. is one of our sponsors, right? And uh, what's really cool is Zoom is lifting the 40 minute cap on the free accounts, especially for schools. And um, I know all kinds of people that are setting up Zoom classrooms and so forth. Um, the Institute for Astronomy at the University of Hawaii is definitely one of them. So kudos to Zoom um, for stepping up to the plate. Uh, I guess I'm Mr. Good News today, right? <laughs> that you are that you are zoom is a great tool it really is it, it's, it makes it easy for especially large conferences for businesses um, i know a lot of local schools here are using it um because again it's been able to give them that uh those free accounts um i know that a lot of uh, younger students are actually being able to have social hours with their with their classmates um using zoom it's a really great tool it's easy to use uh, and it's very, very clear they have a really good high definition option, uh, which is a great option. Uh, Curtis, what about the next one? Let's see. I am seeing the next one as Google Hangouts. Yeah, Google Hangouts. Sure. sure. Um, now, Google Hangouts is one of these things that has been around in one form or another for a while. For those of us uh, who remember some of the late lamented Google social um, networking stuff, Google Handouts is really in many ways the last remaining piece of that. Now, Google Hangouts is familiar to organizations that use the G Suite for their enterprise collaboration. But what Google has done now is make it free and make advanced features free for all of their G Suite and education customers. And the education customer part of that is key because there are lots and lots 
and lots and lots and lots and lots of school districts and universities out there that use the Google Cloud as their online collaboration and office productivity tool. Now, the key here is that meetings can have up to 10,000 viewers or 250 visitors, the difference being really in how interactive they can be. For classrooms, though, 250 visitors in a single domain is huge. That's enough for a serious classroom or a serious lecture hall at the university level. So especially if you're in the university or in a company that deals with the universities heavily, look at Google Hangouts for their enhanced capabilities for no enhanced money. Indeed, indeed. Okay, so the next one is very near and dear to my heart. Um, uh, obviously, Microsoft Teams. Um, so I use that every day. Um, we basically test its its capabilities pretty much every day, all day long. Um, and so I can definitely vouch for its capabilities and its scalability. Now, if you're already an Office 365 customer, enterprise customer, most likely you already have Microsoft Teams. But if you don't, they're actually offering it for free as well for a short, limited time. You can actually get very a, a lot of the capabilities for Microsoft Teams for free, um, and a lot of the also the Office 365 components for free as well. Um, in fact, it's the Office 365 E1 offering. You get six months free there, um, and you'll be able to use Microsoft Teams. Now, the interesting thing with Teams is it's got a lot of the capabilities of all the other services as well. It's very similar if you've used Slack or if you used um, you know some of the other. Um, collaboration engines that are out there. Um, but again, Teams is constantly adding features that really could be useful to you as well. Like for instance, you get a, you get a screen share or you're going to, um, I think a really great feature. In fact, WebEx had this for a long time. We'll cover them later. Uh, where the, if you're doing a conference with Web Microsoft Teams, where you have you know lots of people on there, and you want to raise you want to raise your hand and ask a question, well, they have soon to have that raise your hand, ask a question capability as well. Um, they also have, which is in the insiders ring right now, they also have the capability to you know add backgrounds and do kind of like a green screen type capability, which is a lot of fun. Um, a lot of team members that I have have a lot of fun with that. Um, they they put up bunkers and silly things like that to uh, to get people's attention. Um, but it's, it's actually a lot of fun and we, it really helps to be collaborative. And the great thing is it also offers the ability to have one place you can go to always find information. So we're using it to actually collaborate and, and we use, we're trying to use a little bit less of email. So this way, if somebody's not on the email, uh, they have a place to go to still search and find the information they need as part of the team. Um, it's kind of perpetually out there. It's available for searching and finding. Um, it's obviously you can secure it as well uh, if you want to just be part of your team or if you want other people to be able to join the team and, and see the information. So it's just a really great tool and it's really great for our organizations and educational life. So I say definitely try out Microsoft Teams. Um, so the next one, obviously, Curtis went over Google Hangouts. What about WebEx? Now, uh, Cheaper, you have experience with WebEx, right? In fact, my uh, meeting that I just got off right before <laughs> <laughs> um, Twilight was on a WebEx. Um to say that there's been a lot of busy in this arena is really an understatement. And WebEx seems to be a really, really common knee-jerk reaction with a lot of people. It's been around a long time. And sorry, Cisco, WebEx has gotten so ubiquitous, which is a good thing for you guys, that it's almost being used like Band-Aids or Xerox. It's become a verb rather than a noun. Um, but it's been around for a long time. WebEx is offering unlimited usage on even the secure, the most secure collaboration platform, which is really, really cool. Now, one of the lesser known um, systems is Avaya Spaces. Uh, I worked with Avaya a lot because of Interop, and they've been really, really big on voice over IP. And so what what they're doing is they're, you know, with the whole unified communications um, trend, Avaya Spaces has become one of the, you know, new things, especially in Avaya shops. So anyway, they're, bas they're basically stepping up to the plate and they're providing free solutions for up to 200 participants to do video, voice, chat, content sharing, and online meetings. So anyway, um, how about I toss it? 
toss the next one because this is actually a pretty long list. Let's toss it to Mr. Curtis. Well, next up is Starleaf. Now, Starleaf is a leading provider of meeting room and video conferencing solutions. Although they're not as known among consumers as some of the other ones we've talked about, Star were, Star Leaf plans have been created that involve various new products and service offerings, like a free version of the conferencing software uh, available globally. The free Starleaf version is available across all devices worldwide. They just need your email address to get you started. After that, you can meet anyone through video. Now, there are also trials available through Starleaf's partner network. So look for VARs, look for system integrators who might be offering Starleaf as part of Unified Solutions. And if you're a customer who aren't sure how long you'll need to enable remote working, Starleaf has your back. They say they will be very flexible with their licensing so that you can expand the capabilities when you need, have all of your employees do remote working, and you can work out financial details after the crisis is over. Lou, back to Thank you. Thank you, Curtis. Now, we have a very long list. We'll go through a couple more here. Um, so let's go next to Ring Central. Now, Ring Central uh, used to be a sponsor. In fact, Twit uses Ring Central. Um, and, but they also offer uh, a no commitment free trial to users that are interested in their meeting software for collaboration. Now, as one of the leading providers in VoIP and collaboration uh, tools in the industry, Ring Central offers tools like HD video and screen sharing within their meeting stack, as well as recording and text based check chat. Now, you can use the private chat or group chat in meetings, depending on your needs. Now, there is a minor restriction here. They have a 40-minute restriction on group conversations within the free version of Ring Central meetings, but there is actually no limit on the one-to-one -one meetings. So, that's a great uh, feature as well. Um, there are a bunch of other ones here. Um, there is Dialpad Uber Conference. There is uh, 8x8. There's Zoho Remotely. There is LifeSize. There is Log Me and Go to Meeting. There's Monday.com, there's Meetup Call, PGI. There are a ton and ton of options out there, um, big or small, um, free or not. So I definitely encourage you to get out there and try some of these, see what works for your organization. Um, one additional tip I wanted to give you, because a lot of people have been reaching out to me and saying, you know what, Like I can't order um, a webcam or any type of camera on Amazon or any anywhere else, BH Photo, anywhere where I go, because obviously they're not shipping these things. They're only shipping essential things right now until way well into May. So the question is, how do I get what I have already working? And so um, I'll give you two quick tips. Um, there is a, a great set of tools that you can actually use um, that actually some cost minor money, but they will actually help you use the tools that you already have. In fact, one of them um, is I actually use a tool called Sparko Cam. Um, it's by Sparko Soft, I think. I, we talked about a little bit about this on the AMA today. Um, it's a camera application that lets you connect your Canon uh, DL, DLSLR, digital uh, S, SLR, uh, via the USB port from your Nikon or your Canon uh, uh, camera. And it will create and allow it to be a virtual webcam. Now, the cool thing about the Canon one is you can get rid of all the, the on-screen stuff, like, for instance, the focusing square and all that stuff. And it can literally look like a, a camera uh, a webcam. The coolest thing is you get to use all the lenses that you have already, um, and you get to use a bunch of new features that's on there. Like you can have do green screen, you can do uh, anaglyph 3D effects, you can do animations, you can even stream your desktop right on the video stream. So you don't have to switch back and forth to streaming uh, to sharing your desktop with some of these other apps. So it's kind of a cool tool. So check that out. That will definitely help you in your organization. I actually used it the other day. We had kind of a social hour with our team members, and we were playing some of the um, online uh, Jack games, those uh, like uh, Don't Know Jack or whatnot. And I actually shared my screen uh, using that tool and I was still able to talk and interact with the team members as they played the game. So it's a really fun uh, tool to use um, and it actually is very useful and expensive. Another one being XSplit. So XSplit is a, a little bit more advanced uh, application. It's great for broadcasters, people who are going to broadcast live and online streaming, but it's also great to merge um, uh, those cameras together. So if you have multiple ones, like for instance, you have a DLSR or maybe a webcam like Logitech C920, um, you can actually merge the streams together 
and, and you can make them a virtual camera so that can be piped into Teams or Zoom or, or Skype um, and be able to use it that way. So if you already have, if you want to do more than one thing or you want to do kind of like a uh, talking head on top of a share, sharing screen, you can kind of merge those two things together using XSplit. So some really great tools. Um, I guess you can call them prosumer type tools, but they're inexpensive. They're software, so you can buy them online, install them on your PC, um, and you don't need to purchase any additional hardware if you don't, if you already have some of that stuff already. So great, some great tips and some great tools, um, and hopefully this will definitely help you and your organization move forward in this time of remote working.